Next up is Dan Meyer, his three statement. He speaks okay Spanish. He sometimes texts when he drives, but only at stoplights. His name is Leica, and he was the first dog to orbit the Earth. I got one. I'm you get good. two. I'm you in. get two. Oh, two. You want to be really cool? Really loud. Yeah. Okay. Punch it. Okay. Okay. We're pausing. How are you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so from the dawn of time, humankind has asked one question above all others, which line is fastest? <laughs> Let that sink in for a second. Let that sink in for like three more seconds, okay? <laughs> so me, I grab the first line I think of uh, intuitively, and then I install these mental clones and all the other lines and watch them and race them and curse the ones that get there first. That's my play in lines, what's yours? Now, if you're a Joe Q public, what you might do uh, is go for the express lane if you have the right number of items. Now, why would you do that? Well, the express lane has amazing PR. I get that. But is the express lane, in fact, for suckers? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Let that sink in. Now, math folk have this tool in their back pocket called mathematical modeling that will help, uh, help us figure out the world in lots of great ways. I want to share with you what the Common Core calls mathematical modeling and, let you, uh, and share with you how it helped me crack, uh, crack the express line conspiracy. First, I got to ask myself, what info does and doesn't matter if I want to find the best possible line? Tell your neighbor one thing that matters and doesn't matter. Go for it. Two seconds. Well, I heard what you said, I heard what you said, and I typed it all up right here. Good, good thinking, all of you. Uh, all these things might matter. What we have to do is formulate a model now that, that includes only the most important things, otherwise it's just too complex. And so what I choose is the number of items seems really important. So now I want to guess, I want to intuit here. So which line would you choose, the one on the right or the, expre the express lane on the left, left, which is for suckers? Go on, tell your neighbor which you would choose. And now, i got to think to myself, what does this model even look like? Those first two, A and B, those are incorrect models for time and items. With your finger, draw in the air what you think it might look like as items increase, what happens to the time it takes to check them out. Let me see those fingers. So what I did is I needed data. So what I went, did is I went to a grocery store armed with a clipboard and a timer, and I started timing off the grocery store belt and counting items and drawing angry stares from all the checkers. And that data looked really interesting. Look at that uh, equation there, real significant. Uh, that three means three seconds per item to scan the item and to bag it, but that 35 should be a zero. It says 35 seconds for zero items. What? That's that 35 seconds for pain, for saying hi, how are you, goodbye, all of that. There's this significant y-intercept. And the, the store manager, to get rid of me, gave me some uh, checkout data, which also confirmed that 0.58 minutes for uh, for what they call tender time. This is why the express lane is a scam. More on that in a second here. <laughs> so now all we have to do is take that equation and drop in uh, each of our carts here. We find 173, 155. What do those numbers mean? We have to interpret those results right there. Those are, in fact, seconds and tell us that the express lane, which is for suckers, is, in fact, for suckers. Let that sink in. So I blog about it. I write about it. Uh, I wind up uh, getting on some Australian radio TV show, uh, radio, uh, uh, radio shows, and then Good Morning America calls and invites me to go to a store in Berkeley, California, and pick a line, and they pick a line, and then we race. And what happens is I lose. I lose <laughs> on national TV. And uh, <laughs> the deal is, is this, is that my point winds up uh, uh, above the line, and her point went up below the line. And this is a powerful message we have to send to kids that uh, what George Bach said, that all models are wrong, but some are useful. As opposed to the other message, which is all of our models we share with kids are perfect, and you might have calculated wrong instead. This is more powerful. Math is uh, not omnipotent, but very, very good. 
So this is modeling with math as it is in the Common Core right here. Can you pick out all of those moments and see where they fit into my process in cracking the express lane code, uh, how we identified variables and all of that right there. Everyone, one to six right there happened in some form or, or another. Can you imagine what it would look like in a textbook though, that same kind of problem with the variables already identified, no guessing, no identification, the model formulated in algebra right there. Uh, all kids do in the textbook is perform operations and interpret results, that's it. It's a threadbare, emaciated, unfun process. So here's the rule of thumb for teaching. If you want kids to get great and love modeling, ask these three questions as often as you can in real world math. Uh, they're often absent, bring them in. And the, sh the, the rule of thumb for grocery carts is that every single person that steps in line in front of you is actually 10 items, that person, 35 uh, seconds per person divided by three item, seconds per item. Uh, that person with an empty cart, empty basket is in fact ten, worth 10 items. So yeah, that's why the express line is for suckers. You're welcome. <laughs>